here's the thing. Spain is a land of sandwiches that generally have one or two things in them. But there's one sandwich in this country that is extra oozy, extra gooey. It has multiple layers. It's multilateral. It's multifunctional. It's called the Serranito. And it may just be this country's best sandwich. And today, I'm going to show you how to make it. So venga, let's go. So the Serranito actually comes from Seville and it's a really classic tapa that you'll often see in bars there. Just kind of like a, a cheap and easy and yummy lunch. And it kind of has an interesting selection of ingredients. So let's run through them now. First we've got green long Italian peppers, the ones you fry. You're going to need a juicy tomato, some delicious jamón. Traditionally the Serranito has jamón serrano. We've got a little bit of Iberico here because we're going lux. Mm -hmm. Pork loin for grilling. Yummy crusty baguette that you're going to use to be the bread. And you're going to need to make some alioli. So you're going to need an egg, garlic, and olive oil. Should we get going? Let's start cooking. All right, I'm going to put that on a kind of a low medium mm -hmm. because I don't want to burn the peppers. I don't want to fry them too quickly. I'm going to yeah. put a dash of olive oil in. All right, now I'm going to cut the pepper. I want to get the seeds out. This appears to be a seedless pepper, probably genetically modified. And you want to just kind of crush it down. I might put that into two more strips. Mm, it smells beautiful already. Ooh, it smells green. It smells, yeah. So I want it to slowly cook away there. While it's doing that, I'm going to prepare other things. Okay, so the pan is hot. We're going to put these peppers in. We're just going to lay them in. Look, I'm using my fingers like a real chef. Ole! So, I just layered those in. That one won't fit. Damn you! <laughs> Damn you, pepper slice! This is actually going to be there for probably about 15 minutes. And you're just going to keep an eye on it. You're going to turn it. Don't rush this step because yeah. you really want them to do their thing and get kind of sweet and a mm. little bit charred and grilled. So we're going to leave those looking good. I'm going to cut this tomato. You want a juicy tomato. Don't use that knife. Oh. Tip from Yoli is that when you're cutting a tomato, use a bread knife. It's much better. I'm sure you actually don't need to use a bread knife. You just need to have a good knife. And mm. because we don't really have a great knife, use a bread knife. Yeah. It's a bad knife owner's hack. <laughs> Look at that. Yum. Yum, yum. So while that's slowly doing its thing, check it now and again. Just make sure it's not burning. It's starting to kind of feel a bit of char on there. That's good. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to do what might seem mind-blowingly hard, but it's actually not, is make alioli. It's like kind of garlic mayonnaise. No yoli jokes, please. <laughs> we should get t-shirts printed that says yoli. Yoli, yoli. yoli ali, yoli. Yeah. So I've actually just put the peppers, if you have a look there, yoli, down onto a lower heat. So when you're making your alioli, don't forget about the peppers. <laughs> just keep an eye on them. Okay, so to make the alioli, you're going to start with your garlic. So you're going to drop the garlic into this little food processor jobby here <laughs> and then you're going to break an egg into it all right you've got your garlic you've got your egg and then you're going to put your olive oil i just had an idea ah. yoli ali yoli you should make this yoli <laughs> okay i mean you're good at sure yeah, yeah 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 yoli yeah. ali yoli all right because you're scared that it's not going to work or no, no, no 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 yeah, no, no, no fear no sure. fear yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> how do you make all uh, how do you make oli yoli <laughs> <laughs> and so now we just add a dash of olive oil Okay. And then you want your mixer down there and you don't move it right at the beginning. You don't move what? The the stick. <laughs> and then you're gonna emulsify, yeah. Okay. As oh, it no. starts doing that, you add a little bit more like that. Ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing actually. Of course. <laughs> <Pizza> <laughs> <inside>. <laughs> You can move the stick, no fear, you know, because it's not gonna de emulsify. Oh my god. <laughs> de emulsify? That would be a disaster. <laughs> I, know. I think we're ready. Really? Yeah. Chicken the peppers. Three hands. A yeah. little taste. Mm -hmm. Woo! I love it. Yes, sir. We have no bananas. It's actually perfect. Really? I, I know it's wrong to say, but um, it's not wrong. It's perfect. It's not wrong. Okay, so now squeeze a lemon. Does that squeeze just give a little bit of zhuzh, right? Yeah, just some more freshness like that. Okay. Voila. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, after all that ali ali pepper tension, I need a quick swig. <laughs> Now, just come in here, Yoli. We just want to take a look at these peppers. They've got perfect kind of softness to them. So what you're going to do now, take a plate and you're going to put a little bit of pepper towel. Mm. Yum, yum. 
Yum. Okay, you're gonna cut your bread. I'm gonna get the big bit in the middle. I'm gonna make it a big one. Wait, then you're gonna slice it down the middle. Wow. Don't cut your fingers, please. Yeah, we don't have our good bread now. Yeah, so I don't know what it is. I think it went down the rubbish. Really? Yeah, like I don't know. Like I haven't seen it for days now. Oh my god. I have no idea. It's like a really expensive bread now. I know. Uh oh. So one thing I like to do for the bread is actually grill it a little bit before I put the alioli on. Alright, so we're just going to throw that in there. Mmm. Yum. Love that sound. Mm. Okay, <laughs> let's take it off. Alright, so there you got your bread. Cool. A little bit of yummy. Now, this is where it gets crazy. You now need to pork, uh, you now need to cook, not pork your cook loin, cook your pork loin. But it happens fast, because look at these guys. They are thin. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil there. While we're doing that, while that's warming up, that olive oil, I'm gonna lather this. Mm. Wah. Wah. Both sides, you wanna get it on both sides. Woo! Lomo! Okay, so I'm gonna turn it already. It was literally there for a second. Look at that. Got some color. Now, this is where the little acrobatics come in. You're gonna throw your ham on the top, like that. Wow. You're gonna do that, you're gonna get it nice and juicy. So remember in a previous video, when the ham, when it fries, it becomes like crack ham. So that's what we're doing, making crack ham. All right, we're good. Yeah. We're taking off. Right. Really? Going multi-layered here. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna layer on the tomato. See? Really? Now I'm gonna layer on the pepper. There's beautiful green and red strips. Wow. Come on. Okay, I, I think that's... Alright, one for me? Probably enough, yeah. <laughs> mm. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna give it a little bit of good olive oil. Oh, I made it the wrong way around. <laughs> Ole. Okay, we have it in front of us. We've cut it in two. So you can see, half for Yoli, half for me. Mm -hmm. I must admit, Yoli started to freak out when she saw that I was putting all that lomo on. You would probably not get a serranito this big in Spain. We've pimped it a little bit, but I want it to run up my sleeves. Look at that, guys. Look at that juice. Look at that alioli. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh, not pretty. Deliver me. <laughs> this is the sandwich. Yeah. Yes. Ole. Mm. There's so much going on. Mm. It's wow. pure Spain too, right? Like, you know, pork and pork garlic and, and uh, you know, mm. delicious veggies. I am without words. Yoli, you need to try this. Please. This is not the sandwich of your youth, Yoli. <laughs> it's not. Your mother would have a heart attack if she saw yeah, this. Yeah, I think my life has improved, right? You think so? Uh huh? Oh. It is the ultimate sandwich. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Healthy. Healthy. Taste. Yeah, it's healthy. That's such a Spanish thing to say to call that sandwich healthy. <laughs> there is veggies in there. <laughs> it's so tasty. It's so moist. It's just beautiful. Wow. Yeah. I love it. Guys, we challenge you to make the sandwich at home. Tag us in your photos. James Blick Spain on Instagram. I want to see them. Yes. Serranito time. Long live the great sandwich. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Ciao. Hasta luego. Nos vemos pronto. Ciao.